Good day everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video, more of a curiosity thing. I've been on this powder coating kick and I'm taking you guys along on this adventure to see just how corroded can something be before the powder coat just will not work on it anymore. Let's have a look at these pieces. Now we're obviously going to sandblast these, but you can tell by the corrosion on them, there's been chunks like falling off. Even after we sandblast them and powder coat them, will this rust come back within a year? This is going to be an interesting test to see because in Canada, we use a lot of salt and stuff on our roads. So everything likes to corrode pretty quickly. So now, let's see just how well these will clean up and powder coat. I mean, the glass didn't do a horrible job. Did a good job of busting off the stuff that's that's loose. But you can see right here, you know, it isn't doing a real good job of cleaning the paint off. Okay, this didn't work out the way I had it hoped. So we're gonna go forward with a sander and hopefully polish this up and we can get it set up. <laughs> Trying to clean these up was way more work than what they're worth. These have been heavily corroded Still got a lot of pitting. Tried to clean them up as best I could by using mini grinders, sanders, sandblasting. Everything's set up 400 degrees. This prismatic coatings, we gotta go 400 degrees for 15 minutes. Let's see what happens. Now we're cooking it, 15 minutes at 400 degrees. Seemed to coat all right. So this is the good and the bad. It actually came out almost the same color as the Jeep. Couple things, where the rust was or all the pitting, it looks like big time dust in the paint, or should I say powder coat. So that is kind of a disappointment. But what I'm thinking about doing is, uh, Thinking about just sanding it flat, not remove the powder coat, but just sanding it down and then hit it with powder coat again to see how it will turn out. interesting why this has more of an orange peel on the bottom than a shine up top lots to learn about powder coating well these pieces are done got to do those mounts right away the end result is as expected I was hoping it would clean it up a little bit more it did a little bit to an extent but all those little pits from the rust are contaminants and uh, of course it makes the powder coat bubble so now we'll see how long this finish will last I give it less than a year these parts weren't as corroded as the other ones so they should actually turn out a hundred times better
That turned out really good. Let's take it outside. Can't believe how closely matched that color is Misty Midnight by Prismatic Coatings. Almost is the exact match for Patriot Blue for the Jeep TJ. Alright, well I'm going to end the video there of powder coating severely rusted parts. Um, for the light guard mounts, I'm going to give or take less than a year before they start to corrode again. I actually spent way more time trying to clean them up to powder coat them than it would be just to buy them again. If you calculate the amount of hours spent versus the $60 or whatever it is to buy new ones, I think in the end I might just get new ones and powder coat them fresh. Otherwise, the light pillar mounts, I uh, did them in the Vegas lights. Those turned out really good and I don't suspect those to uh, start rusting anytime soon unless I get a rock chip or something because those ones coated really nice. So I'm going to end the video here and I'll keep you guys updated on how it lasts. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.